it comes to cleaning up after it snows, it can feel never ending and exhausting. From shoveling your driveway and your sidewalk to scraping the ice off your front steps, CBS News Philadelphia meteorologist Andrew Kozak has some tips to melt the ice and snow in the safest and most efficient way. The fresh snow and ice we received this week means for the first time in almost two years, we're scraping, shoveling, and de icing those sidewalks and driveways. Yeah, but Michael Thomas, manager of Rittenhouse Hardware, says putting down a layer of ice melt at the start of wintry weather is the key to easy cleanup. Like right when it starts to snow, lay it down, let the snow fall on top of that. What it's going to do, it's going to melt everything underneath, and then that way you can come out with your shovel when it stops snowing and just push it right off to the side. And notice, I said ice melt, not rock salt. There's a big difference. It's going to work down to um, negative 10 degrees. So no matter how heavy the ice gets or how heavy the snow gets, it'll continue to melt. While the least expensive, sodium chloride or rock salt is not effective when the temperature drops below 25 degrees, which much of the area saw Wednesday morning. It's damaging to concrete and not safe for pets, especially the large chunks that can get caught in their paws. Now, calcium chloride, while safer for pets and the environment, is very expensive. That's also a great option for extremely cold climates where the temperature frequently drops well below zero. Zero. Magnesium chloride, on the other hand, works fast, it's effective to very cold temperatures, affordable and safe. We easily sold about four, four pallets worth. Now, Michael tells me people aren't just coming in and buying the ice melt, they're also asking the questions. And the number one question they ask, how safe it is for our four-legged friends, like Carl over here. This is going to be primarily magnesium chloride, um, which is going to be a little bit lighter um, in this particular instance, a little softer on the, on the, on the sidewalk, um, and obviously so, safer for, for pets. And for that reason, above so many, the bags are flying off the shelves. This is your last one, right? This is the last bag in the house right here, yeah. 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 How much... Uh, how much, how much can I get for this? <laughs> Make me an offer. <laughs> Seems to be the same story everywhere, but not to worry. We've already got more on order for Friday. Good news as we prepare for another round of wintry weather. Andrew Kozak, CBS News, Philadelphia.